Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sojin here, and this is a MyPod Hardcore Survival. Today, we're building a nether subway. Well, we're not really making it, we're going to start to make a nether subway. So what I have to do, I have to break a block of the nether, uh, not any block, the block that you use to dig up. So basically, under this cobblestone here. And um, so yeah. When I built this portal, I did travel back to the overworld so I could, you know, dig all the way up so I could make this bedrock breaking possible. Um, basically, what I have to do to travel back down, because, you know, I'm already on the top of the roof, I have to go down somehow. What I did is just place down a TNT and jump in the portal. Just before I could teleport, I ignite the TNT. So, you know, the TNT will blow off, it will destroy the portal frame. And I will back in the overworld. And when I travel from the overworld nether portal again to the nether, it will create a different portal frame that's down there. So I just use that, kind of find a good spot to dig all the way up. And that's basically how I end up as I will break the bedrock that's below this cobblestone right here. So to do that, you need a couple of things. You need obsidian, piston, trapdoor, and lever. You don't really need a lot of those, but better to be prepared. So to build this really easy, so if I want to break the best rock that's below this cobblestone, you want to place a obsidian beside it. It could be any place, like just right beside it, just touching it. And then take a piston, go on top of the bedrock you want to break, put the piston facing up, and a TNT on top of that. And after that, Put another TNT or I mean another building block you wish on top of the obsidian. And uh, I'm just gonna get on my torch to light up this place a little bit better. I don't know. It looks dark, which I don't like dark. After you place down the block, put another TNT on top of it. And the next part will be easy. Put a lever over here and a trapdoor on the TNT. I mean on the obsidian, just like that. So what do you do essentially is you want to go over here, open the trap door so you could, you know, you could like kind of go into this kind of half block position and then spam the right key. But however, since this is hardcore survival or a hardcore world, TNT does a lot of damage. To avoid killing myself or what you should just do normally, put two blocks that's like this so it will cover the TNT explosion a little bit. So, you know, you will reduce the chance of killing yourself, to be honest. You don't want to kill yourself, especially in the hardcore survival situation. You're gonna lose all the things you did, all the hard work. So after you did that, basically walk over here, initiate the trap door. And since you have a block on top of you, you can actually just break the trap door and you, won't, you will still get stuck in a position. What you want to do now is go to option and change your key control the use item key to some key that's on the keyboard. So R is never used, I'm gonna use R. The reason I want to use the R instead of the other key is because by pressing the R key, you will be able to constantly um, refresh the like the item use rate other than the mouse click, right click. There's a bit delay in there. So to do this, hold your piston. You have to hold your piston. First, Flick the lever, initiate the TNT, and aim at this obsidian over here, press down the right R. And O. Oh. Um, that wasn't expected, but luckily I made a backup to this world. So let's do this again. Okay, so I reload the world. Good thing I made a backup. So, you know, I purposely make a backup just for this so I won't die. Because I want to do this experiment of breaking the bedrock. I did this before, but never in 1.17. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead, get ready. Um, gonna actually chuck this golden apple here for safety. So I'm not gonna place the cobblestone down there because I think that's not gonna help me at all. Gonna go there, trap, open that up, and uh, initiate. The Please don't kill me. Okay. Okay. So in theory, the TNT will break everything. But the bottom piston should face upwards. And once you break that piston, you should see a bedrock 
missing. Here we go. That's how you break that rock, guys. Um, I also broke the ladder. Oh, wait, I don't have the ladder here. Okay, I saw I also break the ladder, but turns out I was just missing. Oh, yeah, I was missing a ladder. That's bad rock. What I'm thinking. Okay, I was crazy. All right. Um, I'm actually going to keep this obsidian here as a little... Um, oh, change my key back. Uh, reset. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be a little, you know, just bright light for me to indicate this is the start point of my nether subway. And there we have it. Okay, I could finally break the chest. And oh, by the way, this cobblestone protection, that's just for when I try to break the portal, it's not gonna break my chest and the crafting table here. Not for anything special. And oh, well, the cobblestone around the portal frame just for decorating purposes. And um, now I could go down again, you know, the normal way, not blow up the portal. Let me show you what did I did down there. Uh, okay, yep. You know, just keep going. You can see there's two portal frame now. Uh, the one over there is the old one, the one I manually breaked myself using pickaxe, and then, you know, when I travel back over here. And this one is the one, the second one over here, the one that only one of the pieces are bro broken, is the one I used the TNT to break the portal frame on the, I mean, to break the nether portal on the top go into the nether again from the overworld so that's how i end up with two portal over here um i think i'm actually gonna use this you know red less the over portal frame to collect the obsidian so i could build another portal frame somewhere actually the coordinate that's going to represent the village i found in the desert so i will have a nether transport system that across my home and the desert village so I could you know transport villagers and since I'm making a railroad yeah I don't want to use ice and boats I want to use actual minecart I will need a lot of iron to make the railroad so I think I might also make an iron farm before I start the subway project just so I have enough iron to do the job and that's 20 obsidian obsidian more than enough we could go back to the top and since i now have this uh block broken i could just travel back and down very easily whenever i need to uh the main purpose of breaking this block is really just so i could you know repeat this again near the nether fortress so i could just you know safely travel in the nether on the rooftop to the fortress if i need to get any material I would need for things. Alright. Alright, we're back home. Uh, let's just, you know, drop things in here. Um, yep, just drop it here. Um, ooh, what's full? Um, hmm, hmm, okay, some things I do not need. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't need that, I suppose. I don't need the flint. No, I'm gonna take the flint just in case if I need it for anything. I don't, I really, yeah, I'm gonna take the gold apple with me because if I'm dead, I'm dead. So might as well just have some backup to protect myself, you know? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. So let's actually go back to the nether rooftop and let's talk about how do you link up your nether portal or what math do you have to do to calculate the coordinate system within the nether and overworld. Okay, now it's time to do some math. How do you convert coordinate between overworld and nether? Well, the thing is, the ratio between the overworld and nether is 1 to 8, which means if you travel one block in the nether, it's the same as you travel eight block in the overworld. So let's say if you want to figure out your coordinate, if you know the coordinate in the overworld, but you want to figure out the corresponding coordinate in the nether. Well, first of all, the, the y-axis are the same because it's just basically vertical up and down. So that doesn't really matter. What matters is the x and z. So suppose in your overworld, you have a x of 800 and z of 
200. How do you figure out the coordinate in your nether? Well, you divide by 8. So x, 800, divided by 8 will give you 100. And z, 200, divided by 8 will give you, uh, let me put that in the calculator really quick, will give you 25. So basically, you have a coordinate of 800 and whatever the y is, 200 in the overworld, then in the nether, your coordinate will be 100, whatever the y, 25. And if you want, and again, if you want to know the coordinate in the nether, you want to figure out the corresponding in the overworld, vice versa, just times 8, which is really simple, uh, really easy to do. All right, so the math is easy. And now let me really show you how this will be done. So the old coordinate I got from the village is x365, y69, and z negative 971. So since we need divided by 8, it will give me um, 365 divided by 8 is roughly 45. And 931 divided by 8 is roughly 116. So the coordinate in the nether will be 45 and let's say whatever I am in the rule and 116, well negative 116 because it's negative. And let's take a look at my coordinate for now, which is not that far away actually. Um, so I need to travel to negative 190 in the x, I mean in the z, and the x will be 45, so I have to travel roughly to that angle. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to keep this F3 screen on just so I could visualize things a lot better than uh, if I don't have it. Uh, and I think if I build the portal, I should expect the time to be night time. Um, just, you know, it's not going to be good for me. It will definitely going to be night time. It's not going to be that fun for sure. Okay, so 45, I definitely went over for the x direction, and okay, there we have it. So, roughly around, um, oh wait, I went too far away in that z direction too, it's negative 116. Let's go back. I definitely overshot, I wasn't paying attention at the numbers. Uh, okay, my bad. Alright, so roughly at this area, if I build a portal frame, uh, and if I did my math right, when I light up the portal, I should get spawned to the village, which I will, you know, build the portal frame just now. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more block. One more block. Jump down. Block here. Oh, oops. Uh, this is not it's meant to be there. Uh, oops. Uh, let's fix this really quick. Okay, yep. Yeah, so normally you will need to use 10 obsidian to build a photo frame if you want to save the one on the side. Just for a little special decorating, I'm going to light up the sides of this portal. Let's even do at the over here because I have enough torch. Why not? And now, moment of truth. Let's light up the portal. And get ready on my sword, travel back to the overworld, and it should get spawned relatively close to the village. Aha, just like that. Pretty nice, isn't it? Uh, the portal spawns right next to the village. So if I want to transport villagers, it will be so much easier. Uh, and the Iron Golem are already fighting the zombies and creepers, so I'm just gonna go ahead and collect some mob drop and head back to the nether again because um you know i don't want iron golem to die and the villagers to be in danger but that's how you travel using the nether portal and i just got back perfect easy peasy and now what i need to do if i want to you know somehow go in go under the roof is either i could go all the way back travel over here or I could just place down a TNT, ignite it, go hop in the portal, so I could teleport back to the overworld. But the TNT will break the, you know, it will break not the frame, but this purple portal part of the thing. 
which you can't really break it if you're in survival situation. All right, so now what I need to do is grab some iron, make some real, and I could, you know, at least kidnap three villagers, bring it somewhere close to my home, but not so close, so I could make my iron farm. And, you know, with the enough iron, I could truly make this transporting system work. And I think my first initial iron farm, I would just make it near the village because I don't have that much rail to bring the villager all the way back to home, to be honest. All right. So I made a little torch uh, kind of little indicator for me to know where exactly are my two portals. They're really not far away. So like if I walk in the middle of those torches, you can see I can see the two portal from the distance. So I probably, I think, if I just head over here and then turn on my um, random distance to like, I don't know, 20 chunks, I will be able to see the other portal frame perhaps, maybe not. Uh, well, that's fine. Let's just turn it back down. So it's, you know, my computer doesn't have to stretch that much for the frame for seconds. Uh, it's, I mean, it's i5 and NVIDIA 1650 Ti, which is very good. Um, I will maybe do uh, this, like a review of this laptop later on in my other channel. So stay tuned for that. And guys, this will be it for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. If you want to support me out, subscribe to the channel. It's free. And over there is a video that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. And the other hand, over there is a video that of my latest uploads. Check that out. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.